Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas McGee and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own short link generator from directly within WordPress. Okay, so if you've been using social media for a while, Twitter, Facebook, uh, even LinkedIn or Google Plus back when that was a thing, you're probably pretty familiar with short link generators. So Bitly is one, there's I think one called Jumply. Is slash my dash great dash great, you know, blog post, that whole URL would count against the number of characters that you were able to use. So they came out with services like Bitly that would enable you to do bit.ly slash, you know, some random string. So that's pretty gen that's pretty useful for a number of different purposes still today because you can use that short link and create your own to make it really easy to share. So for example, if you're on a podcast or something like that, you could go to bit dot ly slash migrate you know promo or whatever it would be uh, in order for people to be able to get a hold of that one of the problems that you run into now however is that bitly and a number of the other services are becoming pretty crowded and so because of that you can't do like bitly slash or bitly.com or bit.ly slash guide because more than likely somebody somebody else has already snagged that particular slug as it's called or name uh, because bitly is shared across everyone so what i want to show you how to do today is how to set up your own wordpress website and create your own version of bitly so you might be wondering why would i want to do this where does this come in handy and the answer is any place that you want to audibly share something that you do, right? So Bitly, like I mentioned, was originally created to make the, the URL that was being shared short. so people don't have to go back and you know type in the super long URL having something short is great so for example over at notable themes we have something uh, we've got a URL that we use specifically for sharing and that URL is notable.tips so we tell people on our webinars if you want to check out convertkit go to notable.tips.com slash convertkit or on the rightly show our podcast uh, for the show notes so this is important if you have a podcast and you want a way to tell people about the show notes for the episode that you're currently recording, having a URL specific to that is super useful. So like I mentioned previously, we have one for The Rightly Show, our podcast. So what we tell people in every episode is check out today's show notes by again, going to rightly.show slash 79. hey, check out my free course, you could say, check out rightly.tv slash course, right? So it's a super way, to, a super easy way to be able to ensure that people can find different resources that you offer in an easy to remember and succinct way. Okay, all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into how to set up your own site that will enable you to do this with your own URL. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is buy our domain. Now, if you already have a domain that you wanna use, you can skip this step. Uh, you can also skip the next step, which will include hosting. But I just wanted to give you everything you needed in order to get this up and running, just in case there's any of these pieces that you don't have. So click the link below this video to check out hover.com. Yes, it is an affiliate link, which means we do receive a very small commission if you sign up. But you don't have to use our link. You don't have to use Hover. This is just the one that we have found the most useful. Okay, so you're gonna wanna search a domain that is relevant to you. For the sake of this example, I'm actually gonna register one called rightlytv.link. So you can search, there's a ton of different uh, domains available. So like there's .org, .shop, .store, .dev, tons of things that you can use. We usually use .link or dot 
tips since they seem to be pretty easy to say and easy to remember. So now what I would be able to do, as you'll be able to see, uh, is just purchase this real quick. So I'm gonna go up to my cart. I want this for one year. You do, whenever possible, wanna ensure that you uh, include who is privacy. That's really important. And I'm going to go ahead and purchase this domain. Okay, once I've purchased my domain, you'll see it as taking me to a page that has a nice confirmation on it. And I just wanna click on over to manage my domain. Now, what you will notice is that depending on your hosting, or I should say your domain registrar, it may take a little bit longer in some cases than others. Um, for the, for uh, Hover, it does seem to be pretty quick. Uh, so what we're gonna do uh, in order to get this set up is first thing we wanna make sure is that whatever hosting service we're using, we wanna make sure that the name service, or I should say domain registrar, I wanna make sure that the name servers are set to whatever uh, registrar you're using. So you wanna be really careful if you already have email and things set up and connected to your domain, you wanna be careful to make sure you don't mess that up. If this is a new domain, you just wanna make sure that the name servers are set to this particular uh, re uh, name registrar. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head on over to the DNS settings. Uh, and we're not gonna need this for uh, quite yet, but we'll need this here in a moment. The next piece we're gonna need is we're gonna need some hosting. So you might be wondering, hey, don't you typically recommend WP Engine for your host? And I do. I recommend that for your home base, for your main website platform. However, WP Engine can start to get pretty expensive as you start tacking on multiple sites. So what I use is a secondary hosting service to host some of my ancillary or secondary sites. So all of my domain or all of my short link generators, all of my you know uh, squeeze page generators or landing workshop or online courses, uh, those type of things I host at a different place and I use something called Cloudways. So again, there's gonna be a link below this video that you can check out. Again, it is an affiliate link, but you don't have to and the most uh, easy to set up and to use. So I'm gonna be using that for our example. Again, click the link below this video or you can go to rightly.tv slash Cloudways. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's get into this. Once you set up your Cloudways account, I won't go through that whole process here. They'll have to activate and approve your account, but it's pretty easy. You'll just wanna make sure that you set up a single server, which we've already done here, which you can do just by clicking add server. I've already done that, so I'm just going to click the Applications button and I'm going to add an application. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm gonna select the application or the server on which we're going to install that. I'm going to select the latest version of WordPress. Then we're gonna call this Rightly TV Links. I'm gonna keep that in that project and then we're just going to click Add Application. Then you'll see here that it will take a couple of moments for that to uh, set up, only two minutes, but it is automatically setting up a new WordPress website for us. Uh, so again, we'll just give that a few moments to install and set up the new WordPress installation. Okay, so we see that has been installed. So you see this uh, nice little notification at the top right hand corner. All we gotta do is click on that link to take us over to our new site. And you'll see that has a bunch of information here for us to be able to access this site. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click under admin panel this little link here, and that's gonna take us to the uh, login page. So we're just gonna click to copy the URLs that they have get, given us to log in. So I'm gonna click the password, paste. There we go, so we have a beautiful new WordPress website, and we can go ahead and click hide message. You wanna update WordPress to the latest version. Uh, we're just gonna skip that for now, just for the sake of this example. Then what you're gonna wanna do, is you're gonna to wanna to head on over to a brand new WordPress uh, plugin that we've created absolutely free over at Notable Themes. So you're just gonna to wanna to go over to plugins and you're gonna find short links. And then you just wanna go ahead and fill in your email address and, and how familiar you are with WordPress. And we're going to actually email you access to download the plugin, which will give you access to this plugin. So just go ahead and fill in your information here and then you'll get access. Okay, and then within your email, you should receive a link to this page, which is going to give you access to our Notable Themes plugin. So that's the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do, which is to go ahead and download that plugin. Uh, and once that has downloaded, we're just gonna head on over to our new WordPress website. And let's just go ahead and run these updates just real quickly. It shouldn't take but a moment. 
Uh, it's gonna run these updates real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and ran all those updates. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on over to the plugins area of our website and we're going to, first of all, we're gonna deactivate Breeze. Breeze is actually a caching plugin that is standard with Cloudways hosting, but we don't need it for this particular site. Then we're gonna click add new to the plugins section. We're gonna click upload. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab the Notable Themes plugin that we got via email. And we're going to install now. And then we're going to click activate. Then on the bottom left-hand corner, we should see a new navigation item, which will uh, give us the nice list of products available to us. We're gonna find the one that's called short link, and then we're going to go ahead and click install. So you'll see here that will just take a moment. It says it's complete, then it's going to refresh. You'll see that it's highlighted blue to distinguish the fact that it is now installed. Now what we have to do, now that we've installed it, we need to go over to plugins and we need to find notable short links and we need to click activate. There we go. And we see that the plugin has been activated. And one of the things you might be wondering is, hey, uh, what about the theme? So what if I already have a theme? You can use this plugin alongside a theme that you currently have. However, I recommend it's going to work best if you can just use WordPress's built-in standard theme. So as we can see here, if we go under appearance, We'll see here that we have 2019 already active. And I'm just gonna use that theme because that's all I'm gonna need. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do to set this up is I want to uh, make sure that I provide a nice fallback. And so what you'll see here is we've got on the dashboard, this panel, which will enable all links. So anytime somebody visits this URL that we're gonna be setting up, rightly tv dot link, uh, rightly uh, links, we're gonna wanna make sure that that redirects to https colon slash slash rightly dot tv so that's a nice fallback so anytime people go to your root link or root url it'll always fall back to this particular link okay so now let's go in and let's go ahead and create a few short links let's say that we've got a free guide all we have to do is type in the uh, name that we need here and then the URL. So we'll just say https colon slash slash rightly.co slash training and we'll click publish. One of the things we'll see here is that we've got this funny URL. So we need to fix that by going over to settings and then to permalinks. Under permalinks, we want to make sure that we select post name uh, here, uh, right here for the particular uh, URL structure. Then we are going to uh, go back to our short links. We'll be able to see here that the uh, URL now looks as it's supposed to. So it's slash guide. Okay, now one of the things you might be wondering is what about this really super long, ugly URL? So let's go ahead and fix that next. And that's this is where we're going to access the uh, IP address that has been provided to us right here. You'll see I can just click to copy that IP address is gonna be used for the new, sh uh, the shiny new domain that we just purchased. So if we head back over to our hover account, you'll see here that we are editing once again, the DNS settings. And you'll see here that there's two fields that we can edit in order to uh, change the, uh, the IP address. So all we gotta do is paste that in here to match our new Cloudways IP address. We just paste that in there click OK, and that's gonna take a few minutes to resolve. In the meantime, what we do is we go back over to Cloudways and we click on Domain Management. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna enter in the domain that we just purchased. So rightlytv.link. And then we're going to save changes. Okay, and once that's completed, you'll see here that it will now show up as the primary domain. And we're gonna do one other thing. You don't have to do this, but I highly recommend it. Uh, Cloudways enables you to install a totally free SSL certificate. This means that your site will be served uh, securely over SSL or HTTPS. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to uh, type in an email address and we're gonna say our main domain is rightlytv.link. We're gonna click install certificate. Okay, now we've got a notification up here that says Let's Encrypt Certificate has been installed successfully. This means that it will now be served over HTTPS. 
So let's pop back over to the access details and you'll see now it doesn't any longer have that super long ugly URL. It has that new rightlytv.link as it should or whatever URL you decide to use. Now we're just gonna click this link and it's gonna ask us to log in one more time. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and you'll see here a nice little lock icon means that it's being served over HTTPS. I'm going to copy the password and we're going to go ahead and log in. And there you go. You see we've got this nice uh, rightlytv.link is now being used. What we're going to do here now is we're going to go up to settings and we're going to change this uh, ugly long name to rightlytvlinks by rightly and company going to go ahead and click save changes. And there we go. So we've got this all set up. Let's head on over to the short links. You'll see that we have uh, our guide set up. Let's go ahead and create one more as well for subscribe. Go ahead and click publish. And there we go. And if you want to change this to anything else, let's say you're creating a podcast episode. So let's say you've got one called, you know, my great podcast episode what you could do is you could then edit this uh, link right here so here's how the link will show up it'll automatically create one based upon the title that you give it but if you want it to be episode 65 you could just say hey go to rightlytv.link 65 and then there you go then what you could do is go back to short links and you can see all of these in a nice list and you can just simply click and it's going to highlight that link for you. Lastly, it's actually going to uh, track the number of click throughs. So let's go ahead and copy this, open up a new incognito window because it's not going to uh, count your click throughs, only the guest ones. So we're going to go ahead and click this. We'll see that it, the redirect worked as we expected it to. Give it a quick refresh, and you'll see that it's now uh, counting a I've seen so many other solutions and tools out there. I know there's Pretty Link and a number of others that uh, other people have created, but hopefully this one just makes it extremely simple and easy and you can start to see the possibilities of what you can do with a tool like this. So I'd highly recommend that you set up your own Cloudways account, uh, set up a WordPress install and install this plugin. The plugin is free, Cloudways is not, but it is really affordable. So again, as always, I, if you found this useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.